Hey crafty friends, this is Jenny from crafttestummies.com and today I'm going to do a video overview of the Martha Stewart New Decoupage product. This is a multi-surface durable gloss finish and we are going to see how it works. Let's take a look. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the multi-surface durable gloss finish from Martha Stewart Crafts Decoupage. And just a little um, note that on the back it tells you you can use it for all surfaces. Uh, it's top rack, dishwasher safe and water-based and non-toxic. Um, it also says that it dries hard and with no tacky residue and I found that to be absolutely the case. So I gave it a little shake. You notice how it just kind of looks like your run-of-the-mill Mod Podge or other decoupage material. Um, and uh, it's a little bit thinner though, I think, than some of the other decoupage mediums. It really has a very thin um, type of, see, so kind of runs, oh, you can't really see because of that. Let's try that. And no, you're not gonna be able to see. But it just kind of, it's runny. It's um, like a heavy cream. Um, and, but that's good because it means that you can spread it pretty thin. Um, also, it has very little odor. There's, if you get real up close on it, it almost smells like a little bit of ammonia. But, of course, the important thing is how does it work? So, I made some swatches for you. Um, <laughs> the first thing I'm going to tell you is this is a piece that I decoupaged this little bit of napkin on. Um, can you see that little check mark and the line of demarcation? The thing is, can you tell the difference between the top and the bottom? I don't think you can. Uh, because I'm going to tell you, this is not glossy. <laughs> it's called a durable gloss finish. But friends, you can see on this page, there is no gloss whatsoever. Um, there's just, there's no gloss to it. So, I mean, it decoupages on. It's nice and durable. I can't scratch it off. But it's just not glossy. So, let me show you some more swatches so you can see for yourself. Okay. Here's a piece of cardstock I did. Again, no gloss. It's also not tacky. It doesn't change the feeling of the paper at all, and you can still write or draw on the top of it, which is a bonus. Here's a piece of ribbon, and this is actually, this ribbon has uh, a rub on, on top. And again, there is no measurable difference. It doesn't change the color, it doesn't change the texture, but it's also just not glossy. So here's a piece of cardstock, Mod Podge on this side, no pod, Mod Podge on that side. Um, by the way, it didn't lift my pigment inks, and I glued on these um, little mini buttons. And you see I can whoop, flick them. Oh, that one wasn't quite dry. Whoops. Um, so it holds okay as a glue, um, but not glossy. Here's a piece of glossy cardstock. Now, on the glossy cardstock, you can definitely see the brush marks. You can see where it lifted the dye ink off of the glossy surface, and it kept it glossy. And it actually changed the color a little bit too. So that's interesting. I uh, also went ahead and decoupaged on a piece of plastic. But I also noticed that it really does kind of lift up. So still not necessarily, you know, recommended for plastic surfaces. Now here is a chandelier crystal I did. And um, it worked okay. Not glossy, no bubbles. Um, what's going to be interesting to see if how this is top rack dishwasher safe. I don't, I don't understand that yet, but I'm working on it. And then uh, here's a little decoupage frame that I did using the Mod Podge. I'm sorry. Oop, let me get that right. Goodness gracious. This is the Martha Stewart decoupage papers. Um, really pretty. Um, but again, not matte. So here's what the paper looks like. Has a light sheen to it with two coats of, Ma of the Martha State Stewart decoupage on top. Still mostly matte. I have a little bit of black um, paint on there too. So uh, yeah, that's it's, it's an interesting product. There is no tack to it. It doesn't feel tacky at all, the way Mod Podge feels tacky, but it also just not glossy. Let me see if this is dry. 
I also used it in my journal. And this was kind of glossy to begin with, and so it stayed glossy. Um, it didn't wrinkle too much, which is nice. Yeah, maybe it's because it's a thinner product, but um, I think I'm definitely going to keep it on hand and use it, especially when I want to maintain a matte surface. But that's just the weirdest thing for a durable gloss finish to maintain a matte finish. I don't get it. So don't pay attention to what it's called. Pay attention to what it does. And what it is is a great thin decoupage that is not tacky at all and is great for matte surfaces. So there you have it. Uh, I'd love your comments about this. Feel free to leave some in the comment section. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you found this information helpful, and I hope you did. And we would love it if you visited us at our Craft Test Dummies Facebook page and also crafttestdummies.com. Please subscribe, and we will see you soon on the Crafty Interwebs.